The forum has been active in looking at issues surrounding cybersecurity and cybercrime for several years. We're lucky to have today Andre Kudelski to walk you through a visual demonstration of what cyber vulnerability looks like and what it might look like going forward when we get into things like the Internet of Things. What is happening in the cyberspace has some commonality with what we see in diseases. This visual is just to show you what has happened with Ebola in 2014 and to see that there was also some cyber attack happening in the same period. On the map you see some of this green very localized showing in April 2014 the city situation with Ebola. To control it, it has necessitated many different actions, including some limitation in terms of possibility of traveling. But it's exactly the same thing in the cyberspace. So if you take the same region and you take the case of blood heat, that has also happened at the same time in April 2014. Overall, there were 51 million servers that were potentially affected by this attack. 1.2 million were vulnerable to the attack. But what is worrying, three years after the occurrence, that were still about 10% of the server that were still vulnerable. If you take artificial intelligence and you use that to try to see how the attack can be a little bit more smart, then you take the risk in a completely different order of magnitude. We have today a much bigger risk in the area of Internet of Things. So we have concentrated of five out of the 20 main type of protocol used in the Internet of Things just to visualize what is happening. And what we have found is that at the end of 2017, there were 141,000 that were vulnerable. If you take the same rule for, for example, airlines, the question is not to know if an airline will have no issue. If you have one fatal accident, that is already something that is bad. That more you have interconnectivity with Internet of Things, more you have interest and opportunity for the pirates to do something. And don't forget, most of pirates are or financially motivated, but also some politically motivated uh, hacker that can then get something that is extremely problematic. Risks that we may see going forward are not going down. So there is a real need to have a concentrated and concerted response to such type of risk. And to address that, it is requiring few elements. First element is a better collaboration between private companies, but also collaboration that is very active between private sector, public sector, and academic sector. It cannot be done at a slow speed. It needs to be done at internet speed in the internet age. The forum announced that it will be establishing a global center Center for Cybersecurity in Geneva, operated in partnership with many of the forum's industry partners as well as with government partners, and looking at issues uh, ranging from helping to build capacity for cybersecurity across industry, uh, governments, countries large and small, looking at future thinking and future scenarios, looking at ways to enhance information sharing, and also continuing uh, much of the forum's work in areas like cybercrime cooperation, boards of directors activities, cyber resilience.